I'm going to give you a quick demo of a tool that I've written to support exploratory testing. So this tool is called the Observatron. Observatron. That's right, the Observatron. Observatron. What the Observatron, Observatron does is it monitors what I'm doing. So it observes as I'm testing. And when I do something interesting, as I've coded it in the tool, it will save a screenshot. Now, by default, the things that are interesting are resizing or finished scrolling. So I'm at a point where I want to see something or I've opened a new page. Um, I can, if I double click anywhere on the, the page, then it will take a screenshot. I'll show you in action. So you, in order to find it, you can go over to github.com slash evil tester slash observatron because Observatron. it is not yet in the Chrome marketplace. So it's waiting pending approval. Um, I assume it'll get approved. I don't know. But the moment you can download it, just go into github.com slash evil tester slash observatron. Observatron. Then you can download zip. That will download the zip file. You can unarchive it. And then all the instructions, by the way, are here. If you go off to Chrome extensions, so Chrome extensions, make sure you're in developer mode. That's this thing here. Because then that lets you load unpacked ex uh, extensions and they are from a file on your drive. So then you want to uh, find the plate location that you unzipped it. There'll be a Chrome folder, use that folder, bring it in. And then you'll see something like this, the test observer, the observer drawer in here. Now you'll know that it's there because you'll now have a new icon there which at the moment will say engage the Observatron because it's not yet engaged. So if I go on to a site, let's assume that I'm going to test this. I'll go on to eviltester.com. Say I want to look around here. I'm going to engage the Observatron. Now when I do that, you can see that there's some downloads happening. That's because it is starting to observe in the background things that I'm doing, things that I've said I am interested in this. So if I scroll down, so there, I should fix that. So I'm going to take a screenshot. I know it's recorded it, but I'm just going to take a screenshot. I did that by double clicking. So I'm looking through and um, seeing if there's anything else. Look at that. That's shocking. Isn't that shocking? So I'll take a double click just to make sure I've got an image of that. Now what it's doing in the background, um, if I show you here, in the downloads folder, it's created a folder called Observatron. Now, it's at the moment organized by date, and I can see in here that I have some JPEGs being saved. So they're the um, screenshots that have been taken as I was scrolling through. So this one was double click, this one was when I was scrolling through, and you can see that the scroll parts that are in there. We've also got these MHTML files. MHTML files are saved when I load up a new tab. So let's just create a new one of those. Let me follow one of these links. Let me read the blog here. <laughs> So this is still a little bit buggy. Um, if you notice that it's not actually um, saving the files that you wanted, then just click the Observatron on and off and it should it start again. So I've now gone onto the, the blog here. Um, if I, and I should now have the MHTML files. If I open one of these, these are just um, compressed, uh, like mo mobile um, renderings of the HTML pages. If I open this with a browser, I'll open this with Epic. We can see that it's a, an actual capture of the page. This is useful because it's not an image. I can actually copy and paste from this. I can inspect it. It's a little archive of the page that I visited. So as I've gone through, so this is quite useful for um, a record of, of where you went. And there's a, a screenshot of it as well, just to show me the actual values. Because sometimes the um, extract of the page won't have the pop-ups and things which will appear um, when you're uh, in the screenshots. So um, it's still a work in, in progress, but it does the basics when it's actually working. I'll need to go through it and see exactly why sometimes it stops recording, sometimes it doesn't. Um, you can, in the options, so that's a right click options, I've got the options for the um, Observatron here. So I can configure it. I can say if I don't want it to take a screenshot on resize, because at the moment, if I go back here, if I resize the screen it will take a screenshot and then I can see it at different sizes the um, file names will have the sizes of the image in it which is quite useful uh, let me sure. so there we go so I could say I don't want it on resize I don't want you to do it on scroll 
um, I do want it on double click, I do want it on page load and when the page is updated. If I wanted to, I can change the scrolling timeout. So this is how long it detects when it thinks that you're still scrolling. So it waits half a second. Are you still scrolling? Okay, then I'll ignore that. Um, so you can take more screenshots more often if you reduce that. Same with the resize. Um, so now I've set it to only when I do a page load and only when I do a double click. So if I save that, if I get a new page up, then it will take effect. So I've opened up a new page. It shouldn't do anything when I'm scrolling. It doesn't do that when I'm scrolling. If I do a double click, <laughs> yep. So that's the options in there. And again, this is all saved down here in the uh, <laughs> downloads folder. So just a quick overview. Um, I mean, over time, this will change. It will be more robust. Hopefully, it will be in the Chrome store eventually. But if you want to, you can experiment with this. Um, if you find it useful to take screenshots as you're surfing the web, it's Chrome only at the moment. I think this is very useful, dumping the the actual uh, archived version of the, the page. So, I mean, you can choose how much of this you keep um, after your logs. But because it's time stamped, if you it doesn't interfere with what you're doing. So you can create your own log at the side of it. And if you make notes as when you find a bug, go back. You probably got a screenshot for it at that time, so you know exactly what time it is. And then you can um, pull this into your logs and delete this later on or archive it. It's up to you. So this is a quick overview of the Observatron, Observatron. which you can find on GitHub at eviltester, github.com slash eviltester slash observatron. Observatron.